Hello everyone, this is Manali and I welcome each one of you with a very big heart. In this video lesson, we are going to talk about question answer of chapter nutrition in animals. So stay tuned with me and enjoy the lesson. The very first question is, what is the difference between absorption and assimilation? You can write answer like this. The process in which the digested food passes through the intestinal wall into bloodstream is called absorption. Whereas the process in which the absorbed food is taken in by body cells and used for energy, growth and repair is called assimilation. Next question is, how does Hydra capture its food? We can have answer as Hydra captures its food using the finger-like projections called as tentacles present around its mouth. During feeding, Hydra extends its body and tentacles to maximum length and then catches the prey. Next question is, how does amoeba ingest the food? Children, amoeba ingests its food by using pseudopodia. When food particle comes near amoeba, then it produces two pseudopodia around the food particle and surrounds it. The two pseudopodia then join around the food particle and trap it with a little water forming a food vacuole inside the amoeba. Next question is, how does a frog capture its prey? Children, you must have seen a frog. A frog is an animal which uses its long and forked tongue to catch its prey like insects and pulls them inside its mouth. Its tongue is fairly long and quite sticky in nature. How many types of teeth are there in humans? Humans have following four types of teeth in their mouth. In scissors, four biting and cutting the foot, canines for parsing and tearing the foot, premolars and molars both are for chewing and grinding the foot. Next question, name the processes involved in the digestion of food in humans. In short we can write like this. The processes involved in the digestion of food in humans are ingestion through mouth, digestion inside the stomach, absorption, the site is small intestine, assimilation, where intake of nutrients by body cells occur, ization, removal of undigested food through anus of large intestine. Next question is, what is the role of pharynx in the digestive system? We can have answer like this. The pharynx allows the passage of swallowed solids and liquids into the oesophagus or food pipe. Next question, what is rumination? The process by which the curd or partially digested food is brought back from the stomach to the mouth of the animal and chewed again is called as rumination. Next question is how is nutrition carried out in hydra and frog? Hydra is an animal which uses its tentacles with sting cells to kill the prey and put it into the mouth. The digestive juices present inside the body 
help in absorption of digested food by the cavity walls the food is then assimilated inside the cells a frog has a fairly long and sticky tongue which remains folded inside the mouth the frog uses its tongue to catch its prey and then pulls it inside the mouth frogs have well developed digestive system which then helps to digest the prey with the help of digestive juices next questions related to diagram here the question tells us to draw a well labeled diagram to depict the nutrition in amoeba we can write like this different stages in the nutrition in amoeba can be represented as follows children you will have to draw this diagram as a part of your answer where in the first diagram you can see food particle is approaching uh, the amoeba in the second diagram pseudopodium uh, is being formed and surrounding the food particle food vacuole is formed and ultimately the last diagram shows the entry of food vacuole inside the amoeba body in the cytoplasm next question is write the role of small intestine in the human digestive system children the small intestine is the site of complete digestion of carbohydrates proteins and fats in small intestine semi digested food mixes with bile juice pancreatic juice and intestinal juice the small intestine is also site for the absorption of digested food which occurs with the help of numerous finger like outgrowths called villi present on its inner surface these villi absorbs the nutrients and pass them into the blood capillaries what happens to the undigested food in human body you can write like this the undigested food cannot be absorbed in the small intestine and passes into large intestine the large intestine absorbs most of the water from the undigested food and leads to the formation of feces which gets removed from the body through the anus next question is right about the role of stomach in the human digestive system the food that reaches the stomach is churned in the stomach for about 3 to 4 hours the inner lining of stomach secretes hydrochloric acid mucus and digestive juices which perform the following functions hydrochloric acid kills the bacteria which enters along with the food and also helps in the digestion of proteins present in the food by making the medium acidic mucus the mucus protects the inner lining of the stomach from the acidic effect of hydrochloric acid digestive juices break the proteins into simpler substances next question is explain the digestive system in the ruminants with a well leveled diagram we can have diagram like this children you can see the very first diagram is showing uh, the grazing shape and the another diagram is showing the ruminating shape you can label all the parts in any of the single diagram here you should understand that the little chewed food after being swallowed by the ruminants reaches into the first compartment of the stomach which is called as rumen here uh, the food is broken down and then it passes into the next chamber called as reticulum in the reticulum the food is now converted into balls which are called as curd and 
which are regurgitated uh, to the mouth for further chewing. Then the properly chewed food goes into the next chamber which is called as omesum. In omesum, most water from the curd is actually absorbed here and the remainder is dried up and passed to abomesum. In abomesum, the food is acted upon by the digestive juices and that is why abomesum is also called as the true stomach in ruminants. The food is then passed into the small intestine as you can see in the diagram also where the final absorption of food takes place and the process of digestion ends. The wests are finally ingested. So children, thank you very much for being with me in this lesson and I hope this lesson is going to be beneficial for you. God bless. Take care.